Hello, and welcome to chapter two of my huge, massive Blender tutorial. My name is Peter, and today I will be showing you my method for making low-poly characters. It's generally a good idea to have an idea of what it is that you're making before you actually start making it in Blender, otherwise you're just sort of molding blindly. Uh, a good way to set up for this is to just draw a front and side. Uh, as you can see here, I just did a wireframe of my character. That's what I do for all my stuff, but if you feel like doing just a regular drawing front and side, as long as they're proportional to one, of no one another, then it will work just fine. As long as it's, you know, a rough idea of what it is that you're trying to do. So, now that we're back in Blender, you'll notice that I've already split the screen in two, so one front, one side. And now we're going to be doing something new. Go down to View and Background Image. This will be the drawing that you drew of the front and side of your character. So then hit uh, Use Background Image, Load, and then pretty much find it. Now where did I leave mine? So there we go. Background image is loaded. Zoom out so we can actually see it. And then using the tools in here. Move it so it's about roughly in the center. Close this and go over to this side. And same thing background image, and since it's already loaded, you can just hit the little icon beside it, and choose the image you loaded. Except instead of doing front, we'll do the side. This one. And for those of you that have already noticed, uh, this is my old Samus wireframe that I used way back in the day with my low poly Samus. So now that you have the scene all set up, enter edit mode, use the loop cut menu, go midpoint, down to center, select the side here, delete it, go over to the side here, select everything again, <clears throat> midpoint again, delete that top vertice and delete that bottom piece. So now you'll get uh, something that looks very much like that. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to object mode by hitting tap again. And now go down to here where it says modifiers. Hit add modifier. Go to mirror. And you'll notice that your cube is back. Except when you enter edit mode, only half of it is there. Pretty much, when you grab a, a, a piece, doesn't matter which one, and you try to move it, both sides will be affected. So now what you want to do is go down to here, and do 3D cursor. Uh, essentially what this is going to do is change how you're scaling everything. So when you hit select all, since there's only half, doing the regular one would scale it fun and it would do that. But what we want to do is scale it to where the 3D cursor is. You know it'll notice that it's actually dead in the center. So now when we scale it, it'll scale it just like that. If the cursor happened to be over here, it scale, it would scale towards the cursor. But we don't want that. Now just scale down your cube, you know, just so you can see the outside here, move it into a, uh, a location, roughly somewhere in the center here, and just start grabbing vertices and matching them up with where your character's lines are. Thank you. 
You'll notice that it's not exactly dead on, but that's not a problem. Just work it until you're happy with the way it looks. We have roughly a uh, waist piece. Here's the front, the side. Oh! The bottom is open, so let's just fill that in. Two tools that I forgot to mention in my previous tutorial were the merge tool and the face tool. And I'll show you how to use both. So, pretty much first what we're going to want to do here is delete. So, let's do uh, faces. So now we have an opening here. That's where the leg is going to go. Uh, let's move this hip joint out here. This looks a little more natural. And now extrude these. Move them to about there. And then grab one of these two. It doesn't really matter which one, but remember the order you select them in. So I'll do this one first, and then that one second. Then hit Alt F. This will bring the merge tool. And since we selected uh, the one near the, the waist first, we're going to hit the last. And it's going to say remove one vertice and then merge it to that point. So you do that with all of them. There we go, we have the beginning of the leg joint. Now for the legs. Screw that. And just like before, follow the guidelines that you drew for your legs. Or for your body. 